Today I'll show you how I built an AI system that helps create viral videos. It scans recent TikToks from influencers in your niche, finds the best performing ones, breaks down exactly what makes them viral, and gives you all this info in a super clean format so you can easily create similar content that goes viral too. I built the whole thing using NI10 and I'll show you the entire process, so it will be an easy and step-by-step -step tutorial. And at the end I'll share how you can copy and set up this AI system from my template for free and start using it for yourself or for the brands you work with. So let's jump in with a quick demo of the system in action. So first of all, let's go inside Airtable. Here we have five TikTok influencers from the beauty niche. Here are their TikTok usernames. So this is the main source of data for our system and it will analyze specifically content of these influencers. Then we're going inside NA10 and here is the whole workflow. But don't be too overwhelmed or scared by how it looks like, it is actually quite simple and I'll explain to you in a bit. But the main idea is obviously to take those influencers from the air table, go through every single one of them, scrape their recent TikToks, find out what are the best performing ones and then use AI to break down what is going on inside, why these videos went viral and how the script is structured. And then we're putting all this data inside the air table back. So let me show it to you. This is the table with these videos already scraped, already with the metadata generated by AI. And to demonstrate how it works, let me show you the first video. Let's watch it real quick. Do you want to kiss me? Absolutely fucking kind of. Tell me I'm pretty first. You're pretty. What's pretty about me? Um, how you're never able to wash your body glitter all the way off. Okay, slut, kiss me. So, as you can see, this video has gotten to almost 700k views, which is quite a lot. And what AI thinks about it? So let's see the idea. A humorous skit showing how a woman and her gay best friend interact, which is correct. So it understood the main idea of the video. And then, what made it viral? The video's viral success comes from the relatable, playful scene between a woman and her gay best friend and using the trending TikTok sound. So, as you can see, it actually understood that the foundation of virality of this video is this trending TikTok sound. So, if you are in the beauty niche, for instance, you can easily replicate this video and get to a decent amount of views as well, just having this metadata at hand. So, just see how much time the system can save you instead of manually trying to understand what are the working ideas, what is not working. You can easily run the system on the regular basis and get a whole bunch of new fresh ideas that have already proven to work throughout different accounts on the TikTok. So right now let's go inside NA10 and I'll explain to you how the whole system works. And once again at the end I'll share how you can copy and set up for yourself. So don't worry, you don't need to build every single node from scratch. Right now I'm just explaining so you will understand, so whenever you need to tweak something you will be able to do that. So let's begin. The first node is Schedule Trigger. As you can see, I set it up to run every single week, so we will get a bunch of new fresh ideas every single week. The next node is Search Creators. It is actually going inside our Airtable database and just taking those five influencers. So you can see that it is connected to our Airtable. Here we're choosing the base and here we're choosing the table. Then once we have those creators, we are going through the loop over items node. So we are going through every single influencer and then we're using the HTTP request to find their recent TikToks. So we're using API. This is the service which easily helps you to scrape any sort of data from any sort of social media. And here you will need to use your own API token, which is very easy to set up. I'll share it at the end of the video. So once we have these recent TikToks, here is where it gets a little bit tricky. It is different compared to Instagram, for instance. With Instagram, you can easily scrape only reels of the person. With TikTok, it's not the case. If you are familiar with the platform, you know that on TikTok you can post not only video, but also the pictures, similar to Instagram. And here we have to check if the particular post is a video, not a photo. So we're just checking that the particular field exists and this uh, signifies that, okay, this is an actual video. So if it does not exist, we're just doing nothing. So when we have this field, we're just saving fields for the sake of convenience, just renaming the fields that we've received from the HTTP request. And then we're using the sort node 
to sort the videos by views because we want to be focused only the, on the best performing ones, right? And then we're taking only top five videos because we want to cut out everything that is not best performing. And on this point, this is the first part of the workflow. And then we will be analyzing every single video that we've just scraped. And by the way, if you like the video so far, please subscribe to my channel because your support will help me a lot in creating high quality content like this in the future. And let's continue. So this is the new, the next part of the workflow where we're trying to analyze every single video. So this node is another loop over items node. We are basically going through every single video and then here I'm using the code node to format the date because inside the error table I want it to be formatted well. So as you can see, it is beautiful. 20 March 2025, very easy to read. And before that, it was in a way less readable format. So don't care about this node too much. And then we're using another error table node to create the initial record. So right now we have not yet used AI to describe what is going on inside the video, but still we want to create the first record of the video. So as you can see, once again, it's connected to our, the, our database. And here we're choosing the table called videos. So when the record is created, then we want to get the video uh, in another simple Airtable node. And then we want to use Gemini to upload the video on their servers. So Gemini is an AI model from Google and it has an ability to describe what is going on inside the video. So for that reason, we're using it. And here uh, we're using the HTTP request to actually have a URL where we can upload our video for the future analysis. Here you will need to use your own token for the Gemini. Once again, at the end, I'll share how you can create it very easily for yourself. So then when we have this URL, then we want to actually download the file, or I think it's better to say upload. We want to upload the file on their servers. So then they will be able to analyze it. And then, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, we're downloading it to the system in here. Right now it has been stored in the local cache and then we're going to the Gemini and then we're uploading it on their servers. So after this is done, we're going to the save values. Also, just for the sake of convenience, we want to save those fields for the use in the future and we'll be able to easily address them using these names. And then we're going to the wait because this process of the uploading file, it actually takes some time. And if we will run the next steps immediately, it might not work properly in some cases. So we want to wait for 60 seconds until the file is fully uploaded. And only then we want to make the analysis. And here I'm creating the prompt specifically to analyze what is going on inside the video. And this is the thing that you might change for your own needs. As you can see, I'm just asking what is the video about in one sentence. So this is the idea. Then I want to analyze what is going on inside. Write me the whole script so I can easily replicate it. And then I want an explanation about why the video went viral. What is the secret sauce behind it, right? And I'm also asking it to generate the answer in the JSON format. As you can see here, I'm describing, please do that in JSON and I'm explaining how to do that. So this will be easier to use in the future. For that reason, we are using JSON. It's nothing fancy, very easy, just the keyword and the actual value. So for instance, the idea and the value of idea, the why the video is viral and the value, the text explanational, why the video went viral. And here we're actually doing the request to Gemini. Here we're using once again, this HTTP request to Google servers. Here, once again, you'll need to change your own token. And after it, we actually get the whole explanation of what is going on inside the video. So the main part is done on this point. And then I'll use the simple code node to format this JSON that we've just got, because usually LLM, they produce the output as the string, not as the JSON. And here I will just conveniently parse it. So then we will be able to use these fields that this model generated very easily. Also, that's quite simple. Don't need to worry about it. And here, the final node for the air table, we're just putting this data inside our database. As we can see, these three fields are populated right now because of this node. And on this point, hopefully you understand how the workflow is set up fully in the whole detail and it's not a secret for you anymore. And finally, as promised right now, I will explain to you how to copy this system from a template and how to set it up for yourself. It will be very straightforward. Maybe it will take five minutes, 
but it is fully worth it. So let's begin. First of all, obviously you need to go to the na10.io and create an account if you still don't have one. So this is the website, just press get started. You will be able to create an account for free. And once you have it, then you're going to the workflow page. I think that uh, let me show it to you in here. Uh, for instance, let's save it. Then I'm pressing this and here are my workflows. You will see nothing because you have not created any workflow yet, probably. Then you'll just press create workflow. And uh, here we have the empty workflow and you don't need to build it from scratch. You'll use my template. And to do that, I am leaving the file in the link down below. You need to just download it. It's the template, it's the JSON file. So I already have downloaded it in here and I'll just press these three dots on the top right. Here I'm choosing to import from file and here you will need to use the file that is provided in the description down below. This file viral tiktoks.json. I'm just clicking on it and as you can see the whole workflow is created right now. Very easy, right? And then we just need to tweak some of the nodes so they're connected to your own accounts. So for the first one, Airtable, here it is quite simple. Once again, you don't need to create a whole database by yourself. I'm just sharing a link. It will be in the description down below for my own database. Let me show it to you. Here it is. And once you open it up, you just need to press the copy base button. Even if you don't have an Airtable account, this database might be copied. You're just pressing the copy base and then you will need to create an account. Just uh, insert your email, create it. It is also for free, no problem. And once you have an account, then uh, let me show it to you in my own example here. Once you have an account, once you've opened this database, the copy of mine, then you're going on the top right corner, pressing here the builder hub and here i have my anytan credential you will not have here anything so you'll just press create new token and create new credential and in my case if i'm editing the token for instance you can see that uh, i've chosen the scopes data records read data records write and schema basis read you will need to choose the same scopes when you're creating your token and then you will need to connect and access to this database that you just copied. So here, as you can see, I have chosen, for instance, viral TikToks. You will have empty here initially. You'll just need to press add, add the base and here you will choose the viral TikToks. And then you just press save and then you'll be able to uh, copy your token and then insert it inside the anytan. As you can see here, you will just go and connect it just press create new credential and here you will use your own access token that was available on the Airtable when you were creating it, right? At this point, the Airtable connection is set up. You'll just need to choose the same token in all of the other nodes like this, this, and I guess this. And at this point, the Airtable should be set up. Maybe one more thing. Some people have reported the bug that uh, still it's not working. Maybe you need to manually kind of choose once again the right database because right now in this setup it's chosen to mine. Probably your databases will be called with the same name, but maybe not. Still just try to click it manually and it should work. When you click manually the right choice in every single node, I mean here also viral TikToks and then the videos, you have to choose it. And in the two remaining nodes, after it, the Airtable setup should be done. So right now we just need to connect the AP file. As you can see in this node, we're using the token and to generate it, we need to go to the apify.com. Here's the website. You need to create an account. It is for free completely. So it is quite easy to do. And then we're pressing the go to console. And here we want to find our token. I think we have to go to the integrations and here not integrations, sorry, probably the settings and here API and integrations. And here, as you can see, there is my API token. There will be yours as well. If not, then you need to press create a new token. Then you will copy it and then go to the anytan and paste it in here. And then AP5 node should work. So you will be able to scrape the content from these influencers, check it out. And then finally, I think the last thing that we forgot to do is Gemini. 
and to connect Gemini, it's a Google LLM. Here, as you can see, we also need to create a token. And to do that, we are going to this website. It is the Google AI Studio. I will add the link for it in the description down below. So just open it. You will need to connect your Google account to the studio once you have created everything. It is also for free. Then you will need to go to this link and press create API key. I already have created a couple of those. So you'll just copy them and then go back in here in the anytime and just paste it here. And you will also need to do in other Gemini nodes the same thing in this one and in this one. And on this point, I think all of the connections are actually set up successfully and you will be able to run the whole system on your own regularly whenever you need to and generate high quality ideas for yourself or for the clients that you work with. And if you want more practical videos about AI systems, subscribe to my channel.